All right, so what else is wrong with this picture? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Cigars, the new rage. When Columbus landed in the New World, he observed Indians puffing on log-like vegetables. Lo and behold, Columbus and his party and the natives all got together and had a party and just started puffing away. <laughs> <laughs> and in Mexico, a statue of a man holding a handful of cigars and representing the sacred powers of the tobacco gods would become the forerunner of our famous cigar store Indian, which then led to the lawn jockey. You will say now, what does your wife think about that? Let me ask you something. When my wife's father has introduced me to stogies, what is she going to say? She's not going to say my father made a mistake because her father never makes a mistake. So therefore, it is okay. I can smoke stogies around her. I can smoke stogies in my house. First of all, because her father introduced me to stogies. And second of all, because I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. I smoke my stogie anywhere I want. I don't have to find a hideout place like you. <laughs> This uh, little treasure is a mere $12,500. $12,500. It's called a pyramid. Can we get you to open that? You can. Made by Michelle Pernod. $12,500. Mm -hmm. Marvin Schenken, the aficionado, world famous wine, food, and cigar connoisseur, the publisher of Cigar Aficionado magazine, which some call the Bible of the new generation of cigar smokers. Well, well, well. Can you handle all of that? How big was it? <laughs> so big. What kind of cigar does Castro smoke? Do you know where I could find a Denny's around here? Do you know where I could find a Kentucky Fried Chicken around here? Do you know where I could find a Burger King around here? 